What is up guys? Hope you're all having a great week. So uh, today, as you see, a little bit of a different setup. I'm not usually where I am in front of the rails over there, off to the side, because at the moment I'm picking the orders that need to go up tomorrow. So I just thought I'd make a little video showing you guys what sold today because it was a particularly busy day. It's the end of the month, so it's payday for most people. And you know, people are treating themselves to Depop stuff buying themselves new clothes and yeah I saw a spike today so yeah I'm just going to show you everything that sold today and how much I paid for it and um, how much it sold for so yeah let's get into the video so in total today I sold eight items one sold like first thing this morning and I was able to ship that one out um, with the previous day's orders so yeah I've got the seven items that I need to post tomorrow here I'm just going to run through one by one, tell you what I paid for it and um, how much it sold for. So first up is this just black Adidas tee, classic logo, just printed on the front. Not vintage or anything, sort of the newer ones with this um, blue tag. So you see that, blue tag. This is a size UK large. Yeah, just a classic uh stock filler for me you know these are just easy sales this was originally mine um yeah i just threw it up um because i wasn't wearing it i think i had picked this up from a charity shop for like one pound and was wearing it myself and this is sold for 12 pounds i got for this so yeah nice bit of profit on that one next up so this is a bit of a weird piece not really my kind of vibe but it was the day before lockdown and I was sort of panic buying in charity shops and whatnot. And this sort of just caught my eye. It was a bit interesting, a bit different. Had no idea if I'd be able to, you know, sell it, but it's this long sleeve, um, sort of, yeah, it's like a 90s sort of thing. It says south to south, all embroidered there, going up the side. Um, yeah, no idea what the brand is. I think the brand's maybe just called South to South, but uh, yeah, that's the tag. Yeah, the tag's got like a weird, it's got like a Brazilian logo on it, and the front has just got sort of a pattern. So yeah, no idea where, what brand this is, where it came from. I tried to do research on it, couldn't really find anything, but yeah, I sold that for £12, and I picked that in a charity shop for 50p. So yeah, pretty good markup on that one. Next up is another personal piece. So it's a white Uniqlo tee, but it's like a Uniqlo uh, Disney Pixar collab. So you've just got the little lamp and the Luxo ball. And on the back, you've got this really nice Pixar. It's meant to be like a like an American license plate and it says Pixar and you've got various uh, Pixar characters on there. So yeah, this is really cool. I picked this up when I was in Australia, so I got this in Uniqlo in Australia. Can't remember what I paid for it, but um, yeah, I sold this one for 15 pound shipped. So yeah, really nice. Um, yeah, I got my wear out of it. I've sort of grown out of it. Don't really wear it anymore, so yeah. Don't mind seeing that one go. Again, this was like my last day going around the charity shops. I found, uh, it was weird, I found like three Kaiser Chief t-shirts um, kind of joked around with the lady in the charity shop I was like oh somebody decided they're no longer a fan of the Kaiser Chief so I've got three Kaiser Chief t-shirts this is the one that sold today just like a nice sort of illustrated graphic it says Kaiser Chiefs and then it's got a little back print hit with I guess that's their like band logo don't really know I like the Kaiser Chiefs as a I like some of the music. I think that's probably why I picked it up. But yeah, I got three of these. This one's gone for a tenner. If it had like tour dates or something on the back, I probably would have tried for a bit more. But it's just a pretty basic t-shirt. Nothing special. Probably not that old. Don't mind letting that go for a tenner. I think I paid 50p for that. So yeah, no complaints there. Next up, this is a really nice piece. This piece actually sold on eBay, not on Depop. Uh, which is quite surprising because I thought this was a deep up sale all day long but yeah it's a 90s um 90s early 2000s Volcom tee got a really nice uh large logo print on the front there 
Um, yeah, for our old sort of piece, there's not a lot of, not too much cracking on this, and the thing that makes this sort of unique is it's got these like random printed hits. So you got like a logo hit on the back there, and then you've got like a side logo print on the sleeve, and then where is it? Um, you've got another little printed Volcom hit on the back of the sleeve. Really nice. Um, yeah, it's a size small, 100% cotton. Yeah, sort of older stuff from these like surfy brands do a lot better than the newer stuff. So, you know, old Volcom, old Billabong, old Quicksilver, those kind of things do really well. The newer stuff, not so great. So, yeah. Um, I paid 50p for this one as well, I think, from a charity shop. And I had it on eBay for 20 Somebody offered me 16 and I took it. So yeah, £16 on that one. Okay, next up is this uh, fleece jacket. This is from a brand... Um, so yeah, this is a Trespass fleece jacket. It's got like a really, uh, it's got a tonal embroidered logo here, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's got Trespass embroidered there, and it's got a nice little embroidered sort of logo hit on the sleeve. Um, yeah, really nice piece. I don't normally pick up Trespass because, um, yeah, it just doesn't normally do that well. I don't particularly like the brand. Um, kind of see it as a bit, a bit of a so, trespass to me it's like a cheap version of North Face and Columbia so yeah I tend to avoid it it's really annoying because most time in the charity shops I see like a nice looking coat and I think it's like Columbia or North Face and they're always trespass coats so you know if I picked up a trespass coat every time I saw one I'd have hundreds like I just see them everywhere but um, yeah, this piece was kind of different. It's like a nice zip up fleece jacket. The bra the branding wasn't too like garish and in your face. You've just got a nice tonal embroidery uh, sort of bit of branding on the zipper there. I paid £2.50 for this, I believe, from a charity shop. And this has gone for £20 shipped. So yeah, not too shabby. Um, yeah, happy with that solid sale. And finally, the last um, piece that went on Depop today was a pair of my Levi's uh, brand new with tags jeans. This is a pair of Levi's 511s. Um, yeah, so last year, sort of towards the end of the year, maybe October, November time, I found a cracking deal. Somebody was selling like this huge um bundle of brand new with tags levi's i think i paid like 300 pounds for 20 pairs of brand new levi's and yeah basically long story short i've sold the majority of them i've made a ton of profit super happy um and now i've sort of like sat on three pairs that i've got left and guy messaged me about these um had them up for 50 initially and i've just kind of wanted i kind of wanted to get rid of these now i'm kind of tired of them being around just want them gone so i think i gave these to the guy for like 30 pound um yeah which i wasn't too fussed about i made my money back from what i paid for them and a little bit of profit not as great as the profit i was making on the other pairs but you know sometimes you just have to you know give people a good price to get stock moving that you've been sat on for a while so yeah haven't made a loss haven't made the profit i was making on the other pairs but you know just glad i'm starting to move some of the stuff that i've been sat on for a while so yeah and the thing i sold this morning was i put a picture here it was a vintage sort of 90s new zealand t-shirt had a really nice sort of like spell out had a nice like burgundy color there was some sort of like weird uh there's like a sun bleach mark on it which i made clear in the listing but the guy was cool with it who bought it he really liked it and that piece sold for 15 pound ship so yeah guys that was everything that sold on depop today hope that was interesting to you um i just thought i'd li make a little video for you because it was a surprisingly good day for me on depop yeah normally i make like three to five sales a day so having eight in one day was pretty good for me 
sure that's normal for some people, but yeah, it was pretty good for me. I was pretty hyped about it. Thought I'd make a video, you know, showing you guys what sold, how much I paid, how much I paid for it. Um, again, I'm so desperate for the charity shops to reopen. It's literally my favorite place to go sourcing. I've been doing some online sort of deals. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yeah, let me know what your favorite item was out of that lot. I think mine personally was the uh, Vulcan t-shirt. I really like this. I think if this was uh, like a larger an XL, I may have had to have kept this. Really nice piece. If you want to see more videos like this, um, let me know down below. I'd be more than happy to do them because I like sort of sharing what sold in a day and you know how much um, I paid for the items and how much they sold for. I would love to be doing sort of thrift hauls but we can't do that at the moment which is a real shame. Hopefully fingers crossed for March we might be able to get back to the charity shops. Don't forget to follow Coppers on Depop, don't forget to follow Coppers97 on Instagram because that's where we post sort of daily what stocks just been launched, um, if we got any sales running and yeah, any little updates like that, that'll be posted on Instagram. So go drop us a follow down there. Um, as I say in every video, if you want to share your Depop shop down below, put your username. I don't mind checking it out if you want me to check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Chuck me a DM on Instagram. More than happy to answer your questions. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe because I've got um, a lot of video ideas I want to get out for you guys. Because yeah. I love creating this Depop content for you guys. I know you guys appreciate it. I get a lot of nice messages from you guys. So I really like the feedback and sort of the interaction with the videos. As always, stay safe. Keep grinding. I know it can be tough sort of, you know, if you are doing this somewhat full time and you're on your own, it can be a bit of a strain. But, you know, just the community is always there. You feel free to reach out to me if you want to message me. Um, yeah, just get talking with people, get watching like YouTube videos, um, because if you are on your own, it just does create sort of, uh, especially for me when I'm working on my own and it's just like quiet, it sucks. I'm always just chucking on YouTube videos and having that sort of voice in the background really sort of is comforting and gets you through the day. So yeah, I know lockdown's tough. We are going to get through it. Um, but yeah. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.